We're going full redneck this time. We're going to attach our jigging line to the windshield wiper and put it on intermittent. I see movement on the wiper. Now we got one on here. Mm, fresh rainbow. Ah, love it. Hi, I'm Greg Ovens, and this is Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft. So I'm uh, out doing a little bit of ice fishing with Joe. Seem to be doing a lot of stuff with Joe, but he's a great guy to hang out with. He just gave me a ride a few hours uh, away from home because I picked up this new truck. And um, I'm gonna convert this truck into a better sleeping arrangement than the uh, sport track. So this <laughs> Nissan Pathfinder I'm going to convert, put a winch on it, and make it more of a bush vehicle for sleeping. Um, I can haul more gear than the small box on the sport track. But we're going to get out, try some ice fishing. And uh, because we didn't do much except drive and get this truck. And now we want to have some fun before Joe heads back to uh, Calgary. So, right on. See uh, who catches the most fish this time. Well, what do you think? Who's going to get the most fish today, Joe? <laughs> I brought all my gear, so oh, yeah. we'll have to see. Okay. Bust the gear bottom. It's always hard to get them through, eh? Joe's setup is a little more high tech than my uh, stick with the line wrapped over it. Basically, Joe and I came to another spot. Uh, he brought his family. We're going to rough it at this other lake. We didn't catch any uh, a few days ago at the other spot. So we came to another spot where there's supposed to be some nice big lake trout. And we're going to rough it. Um, I haven't got my bed done yet, so we'll probably uh, I'll just sleep in the back of the truck. So, anyway, uh, we'll get set up. So I went to get firewood, and uh, Joe figured he'd drill a hole quick and start fishing while I went for wood, because we're basically out of light for today tomorrow's another day but he already caught one we'll see if i zoom in if uh, we can see it on the ice out there he's not that far so but i mean that's good we hope the fishing is going to be good here so right on success there's joe out there cheating hey joe hey hold the fish up oh yeah is it a lake trout? Yeah, right on. Right on. No. I know. I got something for you. What is it? You can shoot some fireworks off when it gets dark. How's that? Huh? Those are big ones. Thank you. Thanks. 
I got the fire going. Waiting for Joe to catch another fish, I guess. Sounds like you're getting old, Joe. Oh, oh, I caught that on film. A blooper. <laughs> I hit slippery, I almost broke my neck. Oh, geez. Okay, so Asher didn't want to light the fireworks, and that's fine. But he's going to stand in the back and watch. I'm going to light it. See if these are any good. Windy. Let's see if I can light it. I caught it lit. The wind blew it out. <laughs> okay, well, the lighter keeps blowing out, so we got to use a coal here. There we go. You better do something more than that. I guess that was it. And I was. <laughs> so I just want to look inside and make sure they all fired off. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> so, one thing I realize is I got to get this bed built in here. Um, I could work on it, but do you hear the wind? We don't want to go ice fishing on this. As a matter of fact, if you look in the background, you can see the trees. You can probably hear it. And the truck is moving sideways back and forth. It's that windy. So we're going to go to a different spot, just pack up. And uh, there's another little lake <clears throat> that might be more sheltered. So that's the plan for this morning is uh, head to this other little lake and see you know, we, we might just end up having to drive out on the lake and fish out the window. But if that's the way it is, you can't stand in this wind. I mean, it's it's just brutal. Just brutal wind, so. So I'm just gonna use a Rondell flasher. Pink like the MEPS that uh, I use. And we just put a piece of worm on there, fake worm or whatever. So I decided I'm just going to put a little piece of steak on there. Brook trout, they'll bite on almost anything. Hot dogs, piece of steak, worms. They're meat eaters. So, But it is windy here too, so we're just going to fish out the window. Hopefully we get a couple. Right on. trap. Warmer in here though. So Joe caught a little rainbow. Pretty tiny. We're gonna go back to the big lake. Try to fish out of our vehicles again. Uh, just because I think the fish in here are kind of tiny. I had one bite. That was it. I'm not having much success fishing. Um, I think Joe is having the most success, I'll tell you that. So, oh, this is really wild. Um, there's all these uh, methane air pockets that have frozen in here. But the ice is three feet thick and like it's perfectly safe but there's all these cracks and bubbles and it's just spooky to drive on it because it's so clear the ice is so clear you can see through spooky that's all i can say
These are claw marks from Finley. And you're scratching the ice up. Yeah. <laughs> All from Finley. Scrape marks. Throws out skating. so windy and cold out I'm gonna sit in the truck we're going full redneck this time we're gonna attach our jigging line to the windshield wiper and put it on intermittent that's how you jig for fish when you want to stay out of the wind so we're not allowed bait here so I'm just gonna use a little rubber minnow and let the windshield wipers uh, do their job pull it up and down with the windshield wipers and I'll know when I see the windshield wiper moving, if I have some action, for sure. Well, no fish. They just don't seem to be biting. But that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, with the uh, intermittent wipers, I can change the speed. We're just not getting any fish, but we're having a blast on this clear ice just uh, doing donuts and spinning circles. It's a lot of fun. It is. Man, you get some speed up and you just do like 360s like nothing. It's cool. There's a fox on the ice. Mm -hmm. Quiet. Be nice, Finn. Mm -hmm. Beautiful colors on them. <sighs> morning so I still haven't caught a fish yet with uh, any method I've been trying uh, I spent the night on the picnic table here with my foamy and sleeping bag cold as a pillow very comfortable uh, this spot is not as windy as where we were before so that's good Joe and his family went home yesterday and I want to spend another night because I haven't caught a fish yet with the windshield wipers that's what I want to accomplish jigging with the windshield wipers 
So it's just getting light. Get up and uh, head out to the lake. Um, try if uh, see if we can get one with the windshield wipers. That's the whole objective on this video. Okay. This was comfortable. It was. Okay, so I see movement on the wipers. I'm going to shut the truck off. I'm pretty sure we got one on here. This is exciting. I don't think he's very big, though. Try to show you the wiper moving, too. I see the line moving, and that's how I know. I just had time to set up the GoPro, but I'm pretty sure there's one on here. I don't think he's very big, but that's not the point. I think we caught one. I'm trying to hold on to the GoPro and pull the fish with one hand. Yeah, we got one on here. Just a little guy. But there you go, windshield wiper, my pink lure, there we go, right on, success, a little pan fry for your uh, breakfast. So I mean that was just awesome, catching, uh, jigging with the wipers and catching that little rainbow. But it was hard to tell, I don't know if in the GoPro you'd be able to tell that it was, the line was moving, I could see that. But if that was a big fish, I mean, this thing would be, you know, if that was one of the big lakers or something, like Joe even caught it, the big lake, this thing would have been moving back and forth. So with the small fish, it's hard to tell when you actually have one on. But success, right on. I don't always uh, gut my fish. I'm just eating the meat. You don't have to gut fish to cook them. You can just throw them on the fire and eat the meat off. I don't care what anybody says. but it's done. Mmm, fresh rainbow. Ah, I love it. Oh, don't eat it, don't eat it all. <laughs> you don't want that? Oh, come on. Well, you're not going to get any more if you don't eat that. Eat that. I think he's starting to get picky. Yeah, eat it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Better put the fire out first and uh, head her home. It was a fun time with Joe and his family. Too bad they couldn't have stayed longer. But I am so glad we caught something with the wipers of the truck. That was awesome, eh? Hey, Finn? That was so awesome. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Come on, Finn, time to go.